myself Pramya, assistant professor, department of machining, RB College of Engineering, Bangalore. The title of my work is Utilization Statistics Based Optimal Assignment of Wavelength Converters with Self Adaptive Differential Evolution. This is the agenda. Abstract, Introduction, Mathematical Formulation, Proposed Approach, Performance Evaluation, Results and Discussion, Conclusion and References. In this work, we have focused on assignment of full wavelength converters over an available node in WDM optical network. This will increase the performance by cost ratio by keeping the deployed converters busy maximally. We have developed an optimization model by heuristic method. A mechanism has been proposed to handle the dynamic utilization under the same network throughout maintaining the diversity in the population. In WDM network, devices like wavelength converters plays a prominent role since it reduces the blocking probability. But the cost of such devices are maximum. Hence, there is a need to optimize the number of converters utilized and also the positioning of the converters plays a vital role in designing an WDM network. However, these are NP hard problems and hence cannot be resolved easily. To get the exact solution, we go for evolutionary computation method like differential evolution. Coming to the mathematical formation, this equation gives us a glimpse on the utilization matrix where the utilization matrix is defined as summation j is equal to 1 to j u of ij. We have taken n as number of nodes in WDM optical network, p being the total number of available full wavelength converters and u refers to the utilization matrix. These are some of the constraints which fulfill our requirement. I am coming to the proposed approach. As I mentioned earlier, we have taken differential evolution to solve the problem. To solve the problem. An optimization model has applied to define the location of converters so that the total utilization could be maximized and this approach will place converters with nodes as according to need with the nodes. The searching capability of differential evolution has applied to define the position of different number of converters at the node. This is the network what we have considered and it is an NSF NEP P1 backbone network. Now, coming to the results, uh, we have taken the utilization matrix through the computer simulation and the mathematical model have been implemented under MATLAB environment. The population size of 100 has been taken in both algorithms while there are total 500 number of iterations. And three different cases have been considered with available number of full wavelength converters which are 18, 20 and 24. Here, both differential evolution and self-adaptive differential evolution have been applied or deployed. For all the three cases, utilization matrix is as in table 1. As in this table 1, the utilization matrix is considered. Now, if you just refer the graph, the comparative conversion between DE and SADE, that is the differential evolution and 
self adaptive differentiation uh, differential evolution have been shown and in this cases the utilization value is same but it is clear that the utilization value is the same but it is clear that sade has faster conversion in compared to d in all the three cases so this is with p that is the full wavelength converter of ad this is with p is equal to 20 and this is with p is equal to 24 now to define the environment to be dynamic we have considered one more utilization matrix and applied the same algorithm and shown the variation with the number of full wavelength converters. So if this is a comparison table giving us an idea with t is equal to 18, t is equal to 20 and t is equal to 24. As we can observe that we have clearly made a dynamic variation with respect to utilization matrix 1 and utilization matrix 2. It is clear that the convergence characteristics corresponding to dynamic environment has been achieved with few iterations with new utilization matrix solution has better convergence. We have applied two variants of differential evolution. One is with fixed parameter while the other is self-adaptive in parameter value. With various experiments analysis and a different possible possibility of available converter, optimal allocation have obtained under utilization statistics. Even though obtained utilization value are same for DE and SATE, but convergence rate is faster in case of SAD, it is not necessary that utilization statistics remain same with time. Hence, a very fast re-establishment solution has been present to handle the dynamic environment of utilization statistics. Coming to the conclusion, all optical networks deliver information in the optical domain so that the electronic bottleneck can be avoided. They can support high data rate and provide large network capacity. In this work, we focus on the problem of assigning the wavelength converter over different nodes having different traffic condition. To maximize the performance, it is necessary to allocate wavelength converters to the network nodes optimally. In this approach, utilization statistics of wavelength converters are collected from computer simulation and then optimization algorithms are designed to allocate wavelength converter based on the utilization statistics. We have applied two variants of differential evolution. One is with fixed parameter while the other is self-adaptive in parameter value. So the conclusion is it is not necessary that utilization statistics is same but with time hence a very fast re-establishment solution has present to handle the dynamic environment of utilization statistics. Thank you for listening patience.